right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a lot more hopeful than I was two days ago. Two days ago, Australia announced that they were putting in a global vi- uh, corona- uh, coronavirus tracking app which would collect all your data and all, all the data of the people around you within a certain radius, which is, uh, which is let's face it, is the communist Chinese model. But after one of the gov- one of the government's own ministers said that they wouldn't download the app because they were they don't want the government to have all their data and all their private information. And it, ladies and gentlemen, even if you were stupid enough to believe the government wouldn't misuse that information, what about the potential for hackers, ladies and gentlemen? It's a virtual fucking gold mine. I say to you again, one give up, one give up your smartphones if you possibly can, and two do not download this fucking app and put it on your phone. Do not. But the reason I have cause for optimism, um, as I've just stated, uh, there's um, conflicts in the ranks of the own government about this app, and some government ministers have outwardly come out and said they won't they won't download it. Two, I go out for a walk, or in my case, a drive, in my wheelchair twice a day with the dogs and my brother. And last week, the uh, guy at the local chicken and chip shop was asking me about Agenda 2030 and um, uh, the Illuminati and the occult and everything else and you name it, and today a guy a guy said to me down the uh, I was just coming back just a few uh, just up the road from my home. A guy said to me, a guy that you wouldn't normally associate wouldn't sound like he wouldn't talk about this stuff at all. A guy said to me, "Do you know about Agenda Twenty One?" So. The coronavirus, and might be partly the coronavirus and people being bored and things to do and looking for uh, videos other than cats playing the piano on YouTube, something interesting to watch. They're looking up Amazing Polly's channel, if I possibly my channel, although I doubt it, and some other channels and starting to discover a few things. Uh, This has been one of the positives, very few positives, uh, of the lockdown. So, ladies and gentlemen, I have cause for optimism, although I just want to leave you with this note of caution and word of warning. Even if the Q message board is correct and we get all these indictments and Bill Gates thrown in jail on this, Nuremberg style trials for the all these um, um, climate change frauds to scientists and all these politicians end up in jail. Ladies and gentlemen, we've still got fluoride in the water. We've still got glyphosates in the water. We've still got five G towers um, going up everywhere. So there's always going to be battles and there's always things we're going to have to be fighting against, although there's encouraging news that Slovenia has pulled out of 5G and or, pulling, or get, uh, getting out of 5G. And um, you know, they, so there's some... Oh, and Trump, I apparently I heard today that Trump also might be halting funding to the Red Cross as, as, as well as the World Health Organization or the WHO. So, you know, there's some positives, but, 
you know, there's always going to be there's always going to be battles, ladies and gentlemen, and there's always going to be causes. So never, never, never relax. But there's some cause for positivity, some cause for optimism, and perhaps that perhaps where there never used to be before. So. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be all. Thank you very much.